Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about evaluate square roots. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. So a few things we want to know about square roots before we start, a few terms. So if I had the square root of 25, we have a few things here. This, this symbol right here, we call uh, a radical. Okay, the radical. That square root is called the radical. The number that's on the inside is what we call the radicand. And the whole combination of the two, we'll call that a radical expression. So let's keep exploring the square root of 25 here. The square root of 25. Now what number times itself equals 25? It's kind of a good way to think about it. Well, that would be 5, a positive 5, as well as a negative 5. So this is a common misconception, but the negative doesn't work, right? It doesn't actually um, solve our answer here. So commonly people say, okay, because 5 squared and negative 5 squared will both equal 25, so that's our answer. But the negative would be incorrect. Inside of our, the principal square root, inside of the square root has to be a positive number. That's something I always um, keep in mind. Your final answer when we take in whatever's inside the square root has to be a positive number. Okay? So that's just something to think about. Positive 5 is the only answer here. So there's a few different techniques, and so let's go try a few of these examples here. So I'm going to kind of go through different ways that I like to solve these problems. Square root of 100. Now these are pretty easy, okay? to go down and think about and ask yourself, okay, what number squared equals 100? And that's gonna be 10. What I like to do, this is my little method here, okay, is I like to ask myself, well, 100 can be broken down by two num what two numbers that are being multiplied? That would be 10 and 10, okay? And now I have a pair, okay? Now we can do a full prime factorization and break it down 10 to be 2 times 5 and 2 times 5, but I stop here. I have a pair at the end of each branch, and they're two tenths, okay? Since there's a pair of them, I can see, okay, 10 squared gives me 100, and so this really gives me my answer of a positive 10. Let's try another one, B here. We have the square root of the square root of 16. We're doubling that 16 here. Okay, so this one, let's, let's think about the first inside square root, and let's break that down again. 16, well, what two numbers multiplied equals 16? There's a few different pairs you could pick from, but 4 times 4 is coming to mind. I like to find similar ones if possible. Well, now I have a pair, right? They match up, and so this will equal, don't forget the large square root from the outside, but the square root of 16 is just going to be one of the 4s, and now we can repeat the process. Do it again. 4 is, well, 2 times 2. We have a pair again, and so the square root of 4 is 2. Let's try another problem. C. What about this? The square root of 25 plus 44. We have 25 plus 44. Well, our rules say inside the square root we have to add those numbers first, so we get well, 25 plus, uh, oh, sorry, 144, I almost made a mistake. 25 plus 144 here. That is 169, okay. Well, 169 is, well, what two numbers multiply to be 169? And if you don't know off the top of your head, that's okay. That's 13 times 13. We got their pair there, so the square root of 169 is 13, okay. And lastly, we have uh, our letter D here. We put it right there, kind of working our way over here. Okay. And we have the square root of 49 
minus the square root of 81, okay? Well, we're going to think about each one of these individually because they're, se they're being separated. Each square root, each um, radical expression, really, is broken up by the uh, subtraction sign. So 49 is 7 times 7, and 81 is 9 times 9, okay? So 40, square root of 49, we got our pair here, is just 7 minus 81, 9 times 9, half a pair, 9, and 7 minus 9 is good old 2, or negative 2, excuse me, negative 2. And there we have it. Our answer right there is just negative 2. One thing to take note of, I'm going to put a little note here. Let's look back at C. We have the square root of 25 plus 144. And a common mistake students will try to do is take each one of these individually first. They'll say, okay, 25 is 5 times 5, and 144 is 12 times 12. We got our pairs here. And so it should be then, okay, we have uh, 5 plus 12, and they'll say their answer is, what, 17, right? And that's incorrect. Don't do that, okay? When we add, we have to add it inside of the square root. Think of it as if there's parentheses there, and we have to add that first before we take the whole square root. So hopefully now you learn a little bit more about how to evaluate square roots. Uh, hit the subscribe button down below and uh, subscribe to our channel. If you like this video, like that. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, when you need help, you use minute math. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use Minute Math, MinuteMathTutor.com.